Hi everybody, my name is Arthur and welcome to another Pixel Pad tutorial. We are coding our Fruit Slashers game, right? And in the last video, I presented to you a challenge that I wanted you to do. That is to try to make the fruits to get a random sprite by themselves and assign this random sprite, right? So first I want to solve that challenge with you guys. So if you're gonna add new sprites, we need to find those sprites first, right? So I'm gonna get here four more sprites for four other fruits. So I'm gonna go on the sprites, press the plus button. And here I'm gonna look for, uh, I'm gonna say three other fruits actually. So I have the banana already. I'm gonna get the eggplant. So this is gonna be my eggplant sprite. Let me look for another one now. I'm gonna get this orange sprite here orange and the last one is gonna be my pineapple this one here so I select pineapple and there you go we have our four sprites there right so whenever our fruits is being created it is already choosing a random number between zero and four right but this number doesn't really go until four as we know this random function is going to give us a number that goes from 0 until 3.999999. That's a float number, right? Any number that has this point something is a float number. We don't want that. We don't want to get 1.2 or 3.56, right? We don't want those numbers. We want 0, 1, 2, or 3, right? So that's why we are transforming this number that we get into an integer number. So when, when we transform uh, any float number to an integer number, it is round down. So when we say from zero to four, it gives us a random number between zero and 3.9999. But when we transform this number into an integer number, then it's gonna give us a random number between zero and three. And it can be zero, one, two, or three, right? So now what I want to do is, I will get this number and I will check what number it is. So if this number, uh, self.number, so if self.number is equals equals zero, then what I want to do is I want to set my own sprite to be the banana sprite. So I can say that my sprite, so self.sprite is gonna be a sprite from the file banana.png. So now you can see that when I press play, some of my fruits are gonna come as a banana and some others are gonna come as a blue square that is a not defined sprite yet, right? So if the number is zero, we have a banana. If self.number is equals equals one, then I don't get a banana anymore. I will get a sprite from the file eggplant.png. Now, stop and play. I can see some eggplant there. I can see some bananas as well. Where is the banana? Uh, another eggplant. So it's random, right? So we have to wait a little bit. There we go. We have a banana and we have eggplants as well. So let's keep going. And if self.number is equals equals two, then self.sprite is gonna be a sprite from the file orange.png. And if self.number is equals equals three, then self.sprite is gonna be a sprite from the image pineapple.png. So now you can see that my spawner only creates a fruit for me and my fruit by itself decides what sprite it's gonna show, right? So now we have four fruits jumping on our screen, which is pretty cool. All right, now I want to fix some stuff here. Uh, well, not really fix, but improve because this code works, right? So we're not gonna fix this because it's working, but we're gonna improve our code. And how are we gonna improve this code? So let's say the number that I got here is zero, right? 
it checks if my number is zero and it is zero, right? So it gives me the sprite banana. After it will check if my number is one, no, it's zero, I've already got my sprite. Then it checks if my number is two, no, 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 I told you it's zero, I've already got my sprite, right? And then it will check again if my number is three. So the thing is, if we find our sprite already here on the number zero, we don't have to check if my number is one or if my number is two or if my number is three, right? And if we get the number two, for example, it will check if my sprite is zero, no, it's not. If it is one, no, it's not. If it is two, then it gets the sprite. And then I don't have to check if my sprite is three, right? Because I've already found my sprite on two. So these, we are saving processing from our computers because our computers have to keep making those tests, right? And if we keep doing it again and again and again, the more tests we do, the slower is our game. For now, we just have four lines here. Those are four tests. Uh, they won't really impact in our game, but it's good for us to uh, start practicing to solve these problems, right? So how can we solve this? So instead of I keep asking if this number is zero, if this number is one, if this number is two, if this number is three, what I can do is I check if this number is zero and if it is not zero, then I check if it's one. And I can do that by instead of saying if, I can say L if. So if my number is zero, I set this sprite. If not, if my number is one, I set this sprite. And then I do the same here for the two. If not, if my number is two, I set this sprite. And if not, if my number is three, I set this sprite. So now let's see if I get the number one here from the number. I check if my number is zero, it's not, right? So if not, then check if my number is one. Yes, my number is one. So I set this sprite and then now, it doesn't check again if my number is two because I've already found it here, right? This is not another if, this is a if not, check if, right? This is an L if. So after I find my sprite here on the one, then it already jumps outside of everything because I've already found the sprite that I need, right? So the L if is a variation that we have from the if. The L if is checking well. If I don't have this, then check if I have this. Right? Other variation that we could have is the else. So we have three different types of ifs. We have the if, that is the first one, is the regular if, we're checking if it is something, right? We have the L if. The L if will always come after the if. You cannot start here saying, if not, check if it's zero. If not, what? Have you ever asked me something? No, right? So we always have to start with if. And then the L if, we're checking, well, if it's not what I, I've checked in the first if, then check if it is this, right? Like we do here. If it's not zero, then check if it is one. And the other one that we have is the else. So the else is basically an L if, but I don't check anything else. So let's say here that I add the else here at the end, at the last option. I will erase all the if that I have there and I'll add an else. What is the difference now? I don't have a condition here. I don't have to check for anything, right? So what this code is doing is if I have the number zero, I do this. If not, if I have the number one, I do this. If not, if I have the number two, I do this. And the else is just an if not. So if I don't have any of these three numbers, then I do this. So the else doesn't check for anything. Right, and as the L if, the else also needs to come after an if. It cannot just say else something, else what, right? You have to check something to later say else. So those are the three types we have, and the else and L if, they have to come after the if, right? And for now, the way it is here, it works because we just have four uh, numbers, but let's say we increase here and we say that now we have five numbers. So it's gonna give me a number from zero. Uh, it can be zero, can be one, can be two, can be three, and it also can be four, right? So now let's say we get a number four. If my number is zero, no. If my number is one, no. If my number is two, no. Well, if it's none of these three, then it will 
assign as pineapple. So you can see that to assign my sprite as a pineapple now, I can have either four or three, right? Because if it's three, it's also none of those three previous ones. So it would also assign pineapple as my sprite, right? So I will leave here my random.uniform to be from zero to four. And what I want to do here, I will leave my L if here and check if my number is equals equals three. And then later, if we want to add more sprites, we can just add a new sprite here to the sprite section. We increase one number here on the random function, right? And we just increase a new L if here. L if self dot number is equals equals four, then I get another sprite, right? I don't have it now, so I will just leave these four ones that I have here and the zero to four there. All right, so now that we have our fruits working, we can start working on our slicer, something that we can use to slice the fruits, right? To, de to destroy the fruits once we click on it, once we slide the mouse on it, right? So to create the slicer, we are also gonna need a new class. So I'm gonna go ahead here and create a new class called slicer. There I go, my slicer class. And I will also need a sprite to assign to this class. So I'm gonna go to the sprites here and I have a sprite for the slicer. So I'm just gonna go to the S here. Where's the S? Uh, shroom, snail. Uh, slicer. So it looks empty, but actually it's a white dot. So you can see that if we select the slicer, I will name it slicer. And if we click here on the slicer sprite, you can see that it is a white dot, right? And inside my slicer class, I will say that this slicer has a sprite. So self dot sprite is equals sprite from the image slicer dot png okay so i press play i don't have anything in my game yet because i haven't created this slice on my game so i'm gonna go to my game class and i'm gonna just create my slicer here oh it has to be uppercase s and you can see that now we have a white dot in the middle of our game right and what we're gonna be doing with that white dot is we're gonna make it follow our mouse so we can always uh, check for collisions between this white dot and any fruit and that's gonna be pretty cool But we're gonna be do it on the next class. All right So just make sure you press save on your game and I'll see you in the next video. Bye